So the function in this dragon step, uh, the important is that it can go to all directions. Uh, and this one is a growing up hat. Okay. So when the lot of time I go here, that's the dragon step. Go back. So this is coming to you. Okay. You can go here, up here. That's the dragon step. Change the direction. Okay. And also, this one. You practice this one. When you use it, you can finish. Okay. That's right. Okay. So a lot of times, that's finish. Next one is up here. So next moment up here. Yeah. Close. Knee. Yeah. Far away. Okay. Okay. Use the waist to kick. Yeah. Not the foot kick. The waist. Chasing. So when he comes, when he comes, this is it. Huh? Close this. The more close, this is And here. Huh? Then if he get out, this is it. Two Because a lot of times, when you first come to kick him, maybe not a kid. Uh, the last one, kick him a kick. Yeah. So after this kick, after this kick, yeah. again, this is repeat. Same thing. Oh, 
Lifts a hawk into the forest. This e uh, eagle fry. This side of his. And this side of his is a very similar like this. The difference is the hand of this one and this. Yeah. So a lot of times we go here, cut this to this this go down. That's the side of it. The difference is this. And sometimes also can be done here. You can take a little bit of this end. It depends. Uh, you can also get a little bit. On this end, you always break this up. Or hit here, or here, or here, here. And this is very similar to Taiji. First movement, water off. Okay? How? So when the water off could be this, could be this, water off. Yeah. This hip could be here, here, here. So all the top points of the body is connected with the waist. Okay. So whenever the one point hit him, it is six harmony. So that's the most important thing. Uh, the rest of part uh, of the function is very similar, like uh, first hip, first uh, she hip. So, and also, just a few plates, a little uh, deeper. For example, in here, the first hip is doing this way. And here, and we are doing this way. So that's a difference. And uh, so also, the first hip, we go this forward a little bit. Okay? And this way, Last move, we want to go up. Okay. Up, then go forward. Okay. So, the idea in here, the difference is uh, this is a one person punch from here. So, when he punch, go here. This is a, this is a one punch. Okay. So, the second one comes, second one, is the, this second one comes. Okay. Then uh, the, the first set to go this way. Okay. Like this, this side. I'll pull this hand and go this way. That's uh, the first set. The second one is to go this way. Okay. That's the difference. And also even you can use the bell palm. Bell palm. Okay. A lot of times they even go back like this. Okay. So either way, the hand animal all can finish from this, you can change it to the bear, you can to the squirrel, you can do the tiger, uh, this one. Uh, also they call the tiger look down the mountain. But either way you can change, the form can be variation. And this one, the training is evil, evil power, okay? So the idea is that when time comes, this is it. Yeah? And that's the uh, over here. That's the evil. Yeah? Evil. Yeah. That's it. The important uh, in the Xing Yi is whenever you hit him, it has to be six harmony. It's not uh, just uh, your foot kick. Not just your foot kick. The whole body kick. So it's body kick. Yeah. Not just the foot kick. The whole, whole body on the wrist, and the whole body the knee. So the whole thing, when you touch him, the whole thing touch him. When you, you punch him, the whole body punch him. And your leg, your waist, your knee, and your chi, your internal strength, your fist, your waist, your leg, all punch him. And that's uh, the Xing Six Harmony to me. Just like a first movement, like a this kind of bar, okay? We, we chop down. You could be bar too, yeah? You could be chop, could be bar. Either you chop or bar. You're not just use hand chop, just hand chop. This is a hand chop. Yeah, this hand chop. Yeah? You have to use your whole body. The waist, the leg, the whole, whole body chop. Whole body. Whole, whole body. Hit you. Rather than just hand chop. Yeah? And that's uh, the six harmonies mean. Uh, you know, e, 
یا چی؟ آگو This concludes application form shown in the form uh, This is very difficult to translate to English And I will say the meaning is ego and bill fighting for survival That's a roughly translation China's Living Treasures is a series of tapes dedicated to the preservation of the martial arts of China. There are demonstrational as well as instructional titles. The demonstrations include weapons, open hand forms, and different styles of Tai Chi Chuan performed by the most famous masters of China. Instructional tapes are available on Tai Chi Chuan, Xing Yi, and general health exercises useful to non-martial artists. Aside from their obvious archival value, the performances on these tapes represent the best examples of martial arts in China today. A welcome addition to the videotape library of anyone interested in China, especially the serious martial arts practitioner.